The short story, My Son the Fanatic, by Hanif Qureshi came out in 1994 in The New Yorker. The story is about a relationship between a father and a son, and it has gotten people talking about how Islamic fundamentalists are recruiting second-generation immigrants who seem to have assimilated. Since it was first published, My Son the Fanatic has always been interesting because of how current it is. The story was in Qureshi's collection Love in a Blue Time and in an appendix to the paperback version of the Black Album. Qureshi turned My Son the Fanatic into a movie with the same name in 1997. Om Puri, Rachel Griffiths, and Stellan Skarsgård starred in the movie, which was directed by Udayan Prasad. Parvez came to England from Pakistan and now lives there. He works as a taxi driver and has learned how to live in the West. Ali, his son, seems to have taken on the way of life of his British friends. Parvez, on the other hand, is becoming more and more suspicious of his son Ali as he seems to change. The taxi driver tells his co-workers and Bettina, a prostitute who has become Parvez's friend, about his worries, the relationship between the two is fully developed into an extramarital affair in the film. Ali's dreams of doing well in England, which include a happy wedding and a safe job as an accountant, fall apart when his son tells him that he is disgusted by the way his father doesn't follow Muslim rules about prayers and doesn't care that alcohol and pork are forbidden. As his son's religious fundamentalism and disdain for assimilation make him more upset, Parvez hits Ali over and over one night. The son's only response is to ask, so who's the fanatic now? In My Son the Fanatic, the story starts in medias res, which is Latin for in the middle of things. This is a way to start the story when important things have already happened. So, the story starts when Ali has been on his way to becoming a fanatic Muslim for a while. This choice of style is meant to grab the reader's attention and pull them into the story. From the first sentence, the father started sneaking into his son's room, the readers join the father and understand his point of view and his confusion about his son's religious beliefs. Readers would usually expect the older generation to be tied to their ethnic and religious traditions, while the second generation of immigrants would be more eager to blend in. This process of surprising readers goes all the way to the end of Karishi's short story, which ends with no immediate resolution and no promise of a possible resolution in the future.